The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unew Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. everybody welcome 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 to talk live paranormal i am mr bill i am shanahan and we are here live with you tonight we hope you guys are all listening hope everybody's being safe hope everybody's having a good time hope everybody's having a great week we want to start off the show like we always do hey everybody out serving in the military who have served who are serving and even to those who are going to be serving I know there's a lot of people out there right now getting ready to serve. They're just waiting their time to go in. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you yes, for everything you. you do every day. You keep us safe. You keep us so we can do what we want to do and, and have a great time. So thank you very much. Um, I want to send a big, uh, big, uh, uh, I hope everybody's okay down to the East Coast. North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina and those guys down there. Um, hope everybody's being safe and being smart and staying away. I know we've been seeing news reports of people who weren't that smart. Uh, let's get, not even in the North Carolina, Carolina, you know, in way inland because that flooding wasn't expected. But to those people that were on the coast, um, I've seen a lot of stupid news about people that decided to stay because, well, they wanted to ride it out. Well, that was a hurricane, folks. Not Welcome. something you mess with. Yeah. <laughs> Coming <Not> from <laughs> growing up in Naples, Florida, and being through three or four hurricanes, that is not not something to mess with. Mother Nature I, is no joke. <laughs> Mother Nature is called Mother for uh, a big reason, because there's a lot of things she can do when she wants to do it. You know what? We're all our kids, and, uh, well, she's going to beat us up every now and then. Yeah. So, so you guys stay safe. So tonight we're going to talk about a few things. Um, uh, how, where do we really want to start? Do you want to just start with the the, the, the post and oh, go we from can. there? We can. Okay. So you want to do it, or you want me to read it? Um, I can read it since okay. he's like my favorite. Okay. <laughs> but I I don't know. I still love him, but I don't know what to think about this post because I mean we at Ghost Hunts USA use a lot of these tools. Um, so earlier today when I was scrolling through Facebook, I seen a post from Rob Demarest. And for those of you that don't know who that is, he was on, he was lead investigator, um, on Ghost Hunts International for season one and season two. And he's also been on a couple other shows, but his post earlier says, lost more friends than ever with my last post. Awesome. Let me repeat it then. And this is what he says. The K2... Spirit boxes, thermal cams, ghost box apps, necked boxes, ovilus, and the puck are crap. <laughs> <laughs> Those are his exact words. And he says, after all this, he says, look up confirmation bias. So I looked it up. Google definition, because Google is our friend. The tendency to interpret new evidence as confirmation of one's existing beliefs or theories. So, going off of that, like when you and I talked earlier before we started, um, we were trying to interpret that definition and things we've been through, even with past guests and whatnot, as far as what they catch, what we catch, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um. Uh Go ahead. No, I was, I was say, you know, if we take that that definition just up front, just as basic as what it is, I do believe that definition quite a lot. Uh, people come sometimes will come to these locations and they'll come on the hunts with us. Which I'm not saying don't go because you know go and and try it for yourself. But they come with sometimes a preconceived notion of what they're going to hear. And what they want to hear. Right. And that's what they get. So they're affirming their belief that they've got. Now, at, I'm looking at Rob's post. <laughs> um, 
and I, 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 I'm looking at one that he put on there yesterday morning at like eight o'clock or six o'clock in the morning or six thirty in the morning or eight thirty. I can't even see because I'm blind. Um, it's a, and I'm going to read it because it seems to be on a different style, a different one. And maybe this was his original. He says, "Need a laugh." Watch people say paradrama is why scientists don't take us seriously. It's awesome. No, they see K2s, ghost box, orbs, millimeters, REM pods, ovulus, connect videos, horrible apps, and they laugh away. Now, before you start attacking me, so we're not attack, <laughs> we're not attacking Rob. He says, which is fine. Start, tr- start trying something new on investigations. Heck, stop spending money on, on PPL, on people who were, on TV for years and and didn't try anything new. On GHI, a bunch of us busted our backsides to bring in, bring out new ideas. Be that person on your team. I agree with him on this. Well, that's Trump. what that, remember me telling you that I watched an interview with him today? Yeah. That's what he was talking about. Like, one of the guys, I, I don't remember exactly what the question was, but he said he had, he's had people approach him. And say that we do the same exact stuff that you guys do on Ghost Hunters Inter- uh, Ghost Hunters International. And Rob looked at the guy and was like, "Don't do exactly what we do. Do your own thing. Come up with something new, and and put it out there." He said, "That's the thing with everybody. Like everybody's doing like the same stuff. Like as soon as a new piece of equipment comes out, like everybody's got it. And then you see all these YouTube videos uh, on that one piece of equipment. And but that's what he was saying in that interview too. That just do your own thing." And, and and there's a lot of the stuff I agree with him on. Like, you, you know as well as I do, when we go to a ghost hunt, or I'm sorry, an investigation, because I hate the word hunt, um, when we do these investigations, we go out there and we're telling people, and I'm, I'm we're going to use the Connect uh, for kind of an example. Um, if anybody's ever used the Connect, you know that if you point that Connect at a chair, it's going to register something. Nobody's got to be, nobody's probably sitting in the chair, but it registers that Connect, the legs on the chair. And like a leg of a person. Is what it yeah, like. And it looks like someone's actually sitting in a chair. Now, I understand, okay, that's what that connect is supposed to do. It's supposed to register that. But I have a hard time, you know, I will try to explain that to people. If people want to believe that something's sitting in that chair, and that's what they believe in, but even though we're telling them no, it's the legs of the chair, then that's what they're going to believe. You know, right. And that's what they want to believe. But when you're sitting, like you were explaining, like you're sitting in a room with five people, it's an empty room, you're all behind the screen, so you can see the what, if anything comes up, and something shows up standing there, and maybe even moving around, because we've seen that. Yeah. That that to me is hard to explain to say, uh, no, that's it's nothing. It's dust in the air. I'm sorry. I, I have a hard time explaining that. Um, when we were up in, uh, uh, oh my God, the Farrar School up here in Iowa, and walking down a hallway with the connect, and something just sh- in the middle of the floor just shows up, looks like it's walking, and takes off walking we follow it and it's walking away from we can see the legs moving and it's walking away there's not a chair there so yes people have to understand the limitations of some of this equipment when they use it there right. are limitations there are certain things that people need to look at one of the things that i'm going to try because i i've been thinking about this a lot is i want to build a small portable faraday cage um, just something out of me- with a metal mesh that you know if it's completely surrounded, just just small small enough to put like say even a K two meter in because a K two meter will pick up if if you if anybody's listening and you're wearing some of these new fancy watches when they do a quick scan to try to connect to your phone after we've told you to put it, your phone into to airplane mode it's strong enough to set off a K two meter it really honestly is so. Think about things that are think about things that are in your surrounding, but that's why I want to build this small Faraday cage and stick a K two meter in it so I can still see it, and then you'll know, try to key a, a radio or something near it to make sure it can't set it off, <clears throat> and then put it where we can all see it, and then if it does start going off, if a radio frequency from a radio isn't going to get in there, then something else you know something else does get in there and goes through it, right. then it sets it off. I cannot. I, I cannot discount that. Right. Um, uh, I do all, I, I'm like you, the ovulus and some of these apps that are out there, 
Well, I'm going to say most of these apps that are out there that are everybody's using, there's one in particular, and I hate to say it, but I'm going to look at it real quick to get the name because it's I have the app on my phone. What? Um, oh, yeah, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> um, I have it on my phone, but don't use it. It's called Ghost Hunting App. It's got like a blue, ha- a blue screen with a hand in the app. Uh, Is that the one that has, like, the meter at the top that turns red and starts going really fast with an annoying beep and then pops yes, out a word? Yes, oh yes, my God. yes. Um, I have uh, issues with that one because it it's I, – I started watching the things coming through with it. So – and I started listening to it, the words that kept coming across. And every time there was a word, I wrote it down. Yeah. And then and this kept going. Doesn't it's, it save your words, though? It doesn't it, save your it, session? It does. It only does it for like so many words, and then it starts, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing it off. Okay. So I would, either that or, you know, I was, sometimes I was letting it get to the 10 or 12 words, and I'd, do, I'd save them and then clear and start over. And I start, I hate to say it, I started noticing a pattern. There's a pattern of words that come across. Um, well, that's like the Phasma. The Phasma does that, too. Yes, it does. When it, it says fast. tree and chilly wind. Or it sounds like a dumb blonde stuck in there. So, like, um. No, I don't think I've ever gotten any of those. All right, well, maybe it's just me having a blonde moment then. I think there's <laughs> yeah. a blonde stuck in my phasma box then. <laughs> but the tree so, and chilly wind, you get at every location. So, but even though. That, that, that's one thing we need to get people to understand. Like, so when you're using a phasma box. And you're you're going through it, and you're talking about the phasma box, and you, we try to explain to everyone. You're going to hear responses that make no sense. Right. But what, what you're trying to do is, when you ask a question, you're trying to listen for a direct response. Somebody that you know, <laughs> we had a gentleman at one of our hunts that was talk, trying to provoke a little bit. Well, actually, it was getting evil with him um, on other pieces of equipment, and during the phasma box. He actually goes, is there a reason you're hiding down here is because you're impotent and you can't get it up? And then he <laughs> said, first of all, everybody laughed. And then uh, it, out of the blue, it, a full sentence, it said, no, it works fine. That was a direct response. And it was not something that we could have probably programmed in to say at a certain time because he just, he just said it out. I don't, uh, one of our guests, he just put out there. And when, it, you know, so those are the responses that we're looking for. But I do agree with Rob on some things on these certain ones. I still have trouble with orbs um, a lot because yeah. they're, they're so hard to prove. Um, I I don't know about the REM pod. The REM pod, because I've seen so many things happen with a REM pod. That I, I, I don't, ours is ahead. hit or miss. Like when, when Beth first got hers... Other than, it like for almost a year that thing never went off, and it's it's the same thing with that rim pod puppy that she has. Um, when the we've had it on so many times that like not much will happen, but when you have it on so long and and so much all the time, of course the batteries start to drain down, and then it starts doing this like annoying beeping, and people will think <laughs> it's a response, but it's not. Um, <clears throat> but like her regular, just the round rim pod with the LED lights on top mm-hmm. and the antenna. We we never hardly it might have got one or two hits within a year of her using it. Like she thought it was a waste of money, and then until we did that residential house in Greenfield, where we had uh, two other guys with us doing that at residential, and his REM pod was going off in another room, and hers was going off in another room. So like they were in, they were together back mm-hmm. and forth. So that was something different. But that, and I mean I've watched all these shows, the Ghost Adventures and all that stuff, where they get like direct responses. Well, that just that's not the case when we use it. Well, and that's again, you said the one word that is kind of I don't want to put anybody down. Please don't anybody who's listening, don't think that I'm trying to put people down, that I'm trying to say it's it's not real. But it still is T V. It still needs ratings. Right. I'm not there, so I, I can't say that it didn't did not happen. But I always find it funny on watching some of those TV shows that they're one picture is them asking questions and then all of a sudden it goes to the REM pod. It's not directly with them. Right. I, I'm not saying it was set up. Please don't, it, you know, if anybody wants to give me bad, uh, 
bad, say something bad, please come on the Facebook and say it. I, I got big shoulders. I can take it. Everybody's but, entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, but just people think about things. Think about, think about a lot of little things. There's There's things out there that we can't explain, and there's things out there that people do to make us not, that make us look like we're nuts. Like the ladies that had the radio in their pocket and were keying it to try to, you know, to, to prove that we were fake. I don't know. Well, how we're, that's enough. We go yeah. into these locations. Amen to that one, especially next weekend. That one's still got me a little baffled and a little weirded out. Where are you going um, next weekend? Uh, I can't even say it. Noping Sanatorium in Duluth, Minnesota. Oh, you working with Beth. <laughs> I'm a little that that one's got me a little weirded out because it's I've been doing some reading on it and I was like okay we'll work on that one one at a time here so but it's just you know going back to the equipment you have to stop using some of this equipment every now and then go old school just go out there and try something you thought you know this is crazy I don't want to try it. like I want like I said I want to try to make a small Faraday cage to, right. to see what's going to happen. Or just um, walk in with a recorder. Just walk just, in and ask some questions and just it, record the whole session. Yeah, take a basic cam video camera in there. Um, we, um, our team, our private team just purchased a, a little bit better camera than what we normally have just because, um, well, batteries and the, the cameras that we bought really kind of sucked anyway, so I bought a little bit more expensive one. But... Go in there with just, I always said, the best ghost hunting tools. I'm sorry, ghost investigating tools. I got to stop using the word hunting because I, I'm not killing the wabbit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the best tools in the world we were born with. How you feel, what you see, what you smell, and what you hear. Go there and just, go there and blindfold yourself. Take Take one of your senses completely away. Blindfolding yourself in the dark, some people say that's crazy because you can't see anything. Well, that's the key. Well, nine times out of ten, you can't see nothing once you don't. You have a blindfold on, and it's pitch black anyway. And even and by blindfolding it, but even in the dark, <clears throat> excuse me, even in the dark, <clears throat> wow, I got a frog stuck. <clears throat> <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> even in the dark, blindfolding, well, not blindfolding yourself, your eyes will pick up on the small senses of light and play tricks on your on you they'll make right. you see things that aren't there go to walmart and spend 98 cents and buy one of those sleep masks <laughs> and and that, that's what we use as the cheapest thing in the world and they're comfortable just don't fall asleep you never know what's going to happen um <laughs> but just and, and then sit and get as quiet as possible and make sure you got your recorder going because sometimes you'll hear things that you weren't able to hear because your vision is trying to override your other senses. You'll start staring into an area going, what's that? I see something. And your mind is saying, I see something and you're, you're missing completely things. blocking out your hearing. Yeah. And you're, and by blindfolding also one other thing happens, your sense of feel a, on, on not just your hands, but your shoulders, your head, your neck, your body, the that hairs is, on your it's, arm. It, it's, it's, it's heightened. And so we, you know, I love going out to cemeteries, blindfolding, and sitting there. I don't know why. Now, I did have one where I knew I felt something on my arm, uh, took the blindfold off, took a flashlight real quick, and had a spider on my arm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of... Huh. But just just try different things. I, I'm, I'm stuck in the middle of Rob's post. I don't believe that they're, all the equipment is crap. Um but I, I'm not saying it's crap, but I'm not saying it's all good. It, it all works either. I'm, there... I'm not a huge fan of phone apps. And that's like the first thing that somebody will ask me because they don't have all the equipment that we have when they come to our, our group events. Yep. So it's like, how do you give them an app that actually you've gotten responses from that didn't cost money because they always want the free ones. And I'm like, well, uh, I don't use phone apps much, and then they'll come back with me and ask me again which apps to get, and I'm like, so I'll just do a, like a little search and look up paranormal stuff, and then I'll just start randomly naming off phone apps <laughs> because do I don't use them. 
Okay, but I, I'm, so I'm going to call out a couple. What do you think of the Echo Box? I like the Echo Box. I am not going to lie. Beth and I started with the uh, the Echo Box. Um, as far as the first app on a phone we ever got, it's just a matter of getting your settings just right to where you comprehend. And everybody's different, but you get the settings just right to where you comprehend what's coming through, what you're hearing coming through this thing. And that's what I find hard because I've I've got the Echo Box now and I've tried it, and I just I'm having such a hard time finding the right settings. Um, with the slides and now, all which that one fun do stuff. you have? Because they have a, they, excuse me, they have a twenty dollar one and they have a thirty dollar one. Um, Unless they drop the prices. I have the Echo Vox 2.0. I don't know which one's the new one. I think the newer one is. Was it called Legend or something? I thought. Um, wouldn't the Legend be the old one? <laughs> that would have been the classic. Oh, sorry. I don't know. This listen. just says, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, Linda, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Linda, 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 Linda. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> I love that little boy. Um, it's the Echo Vox 2.0. It's all orange, so it's really annoying with that. Okay, the other one that we had was yellow. So oh, maybe, maybe yours this, is a newer maybe, one. Maybe this is yellow and it just looks orange to me. Um, but it's got, there's like a, um, a little a circle at the top with A, Does B, it have C, the circle and D. That, yeah. And then it's got two pieces that you can like slide, one slide to the left, you slide it over, it's got speed control and yeah. mic gain. Yes. And then when it says enable enable auto blend echo play file browser, and then your delay. So I, I I'm still messing with it. Now again, we were talking about apps, and we don't like them. But I I, I will try some things. I don't right. have a problem with that. But there is, and I'm going to address this only because we started talking about it, and I'm going to go to Steve Huff. <laughs> yeah, there's I still a, want to try that piece of equipment out, though. I... There's a lot of apps out there, and there's a lot of people out there, you know, that are bashing Steve Huff right now um, because they actually broke down some of his apps and hacked into them and found things in there that he placed in there. And then he did, from what I understand, he did admit to putting some things in apps. Okay, let's take the apps out of the picture. Let's take some of the equipment that he's built. Um, and I can only personally talk about one because we have it and we use it, which is the white box. Um, right. And we use it. And somebody goes, well, it's it's all fake. Okay, it has to be hooked up to something. The white box is nothing more than a speaker that he is blessed with crystals and copper and silver and gold to help enhance something to come through. So... You guys yes, plug a spirit box into into it. Plug a plug a spirit box, a phasma box. Something something has to be plugged into it. Okay, some put it this way: something is supposed to be plugged into it um, <laughs> to make it, For it to make to it work. work. So, taking that into consideration, you're still plugging something in to get stuff to come out. Right. But I had an experience with the box, walking, carrying it with it just turned on. And nothing was plugged into it. I had the little speaker plug, one, you know, 0.5 plug or whatever the heck it is, 3.5 plug that you're supposed to plug into something. Talking about the aux port. Yeah. Okay. I I did not have that plugged in anything. I was just it was in my hand. I was holding it up so it wouldn't bang on anything. And I'm walking with it, and the there's people there's a whole group of people around me excited to try this thing, and it it came straight across the box and said, "Hurry up, get moving." And I'm, I froze. I've, it just was more, it was talking and things were coming across it with nothing being plugged into it. Then it got close to one of our team members and it started growling. It sounded like a dog growling at her. I went away from her. It stopped. I come back and it started growling. And I looked at her and I go, do you have your phone on? Do you have something on putting off energy? She's like, no, I'm just sitting out here in the dark watching things walk around out here with, you know, that are all black and entities. And she, I took it closer to her and it was, <clears throat> it was, it went from a growling dog to a demonic growl. And I hate using the word demonic, but that's the only way I can explain it. I took it away from her and it was fine. Uh, other than the fact that it told me to hurry Maybe up again. Maybe it didn't want her to hold it or it wanted, didn't want it to be near her. <laughs> Now, I honestly have to say that we have come across to the point where 
it was being used, the box was being used so much and being used, I'm not saying it was being used wrong, but the, the uh, couple of the users before us, we think were using it in ways they maybe they shouldn't. And but like a Ouija board or something? No. So with a Ouija board, you you ask someone you know to come, you invite people to come or entities and spirits to come through and talk to you. Well, um, yeah. And then you have to close it to stop. You know, you have to tell them all communication you, coming yeah, through. Stop, it, yeah. Stop all communication. You you can't follow us. We're done. You go back to where you were. You're not allowed to stay here. You have to close it. Have you ever, and this is a, just a question for you, have you ever, when you turned on the Phasma box, have you ever done that, invited, and then at the end closed, closed it down by saying, you can't go with us, you have to stay, You're, you know, we're shutting this off, you can't, you have to go back to where you go. Have you ever done that? Honestly, no. So what's the difference between a Ouija board and a Phasma box? Really, honestly, one's digital and one's not. One's I never really got the yeah, but I never really got the opportunity through the Phasma box because I let so many guests use it. By the time I get it back, the battery's like dead. So w- why, in that case, wouldn't it be that that's still left open? So if it's something that's still left open, so say we are using the white box hooked. To, I'm just going to use the Phasma box because it's the easiest thing to talk about. We use the white box hooked to the Phasma box, and we allowed things to come through. And then we just shut it off and put it away. And then we got it out again at a different location. Then we got it out again at a different right. location. Well, I have oh, said, oh. like, if if you did speak with us tonight, we, we appreciate it. We thank you very much. And I've said goodbye. I mean, I haven't really said you need to go back into or go back to where you came from with the Phasma box. So that's a practice that we're, we're starting now. Because, I do, because honestly, after the box growled at Amy... And it told me to hurry up with nothing connected, which, and then it wasn't probably 35 minutes later is when it told that lady she was pregnant. Right. Um, it got me really think. It got all of us thinking, when's the last time this thing was blessed and cleansed? When was it cleared? When, you know, when was anything done to it? You know, just to, even, even if it's just a physical representation of, us cleansing the box and getting it so it's clean and clear and nothing's attached to it anymore. When was this last done? And we don't know any time it was done. Um, before us, I can guarantee the person, the people that had it before us probably didn't do it. And I don't know if Steve Huff ever did it. So how much stuff is being, how much of that is becoming, what, is it possible that box was becoming almost its own sense of, of being and its own entity? In there, because it was, a, it was, a, it was, for lack of better terms, it was a portal for it. It was never been closed. So we actually had the box blessed, and I we have not used it since then. It's been sitting under a shroud from the church that's been blessed with a, with the crosses and the crystals to kind of try to cleanse it and clear it. The first huh? time we will, we we will use it will be probably this Friday down in Missouri. Um, okay, well, I'm using mine Friday too, so I'll try so, it. So uh, it's it's something's. I'm not saying that these these things don't need this or, or or can't be done that way, but there's things that have to happen. I think to keep this from us looking like, for lack of better terms, like television shows. Right. If nothing comes across, I hate to say it, but if nothing, if we never get a thing. On any investigation with a group of people, they all say it's fake. If we get right. stuff, they say it's fake. If we, it, there's if, no happy medium in this field. There will never be a happy medium until they experience something that is, I don't know, like you know, being touched on the arm or your butt grabbed or your hair pulled or anything like that. Then, I mean, we, that's like some of the guests that come in and, and want that shoved down a flight of stairs experience. Believe you, you're not going to get that. No, if, not on if, demand if, anyway. No, <laughs> I can't guarantee that they'll never get it. When, but you, I, I, and I, I know you've had them. People coming and going. Oh, I'm just with this group because they they wanted me to come, so I'm just going to kind of be over here. And then it, a spirit box or something calls out that person's full name. Yeah, for first and last name, and you see them look up like, what did that got just say? Middle name too. 
first, middle, and last name. Uh, see, that's a direct response and a direct contact. And how do you explain that away to someone who's saying, well, you know, we don't, you know, it's a Steve Huff box and it's all fake. Right. Um, I'm not even, the, the box is a Steve Huff box. But what we're, put, we're putting through it is not. So how can you say this is a fake, especially when it go when it you know calls somebody by first, well, in your case, middle and last name? Right. Um, that's hard to explain. That that's not, not only hard it to is. explain; it's pretty much impossible to explain. And then you've given you know not given. Then the the people come back and go do it again. Prove that it's real. Do it again. Have you ever had when you turn your when you turn your phasma box on in front of a group and the first thing it comes through it says like hi Bill? Uh, Has yes. ever done that? Yes. Because mine's done that too. Well, I mean, call me Shannon, You're, not Bill. I was going to say your your box said hi Bill. No, but it's like it's usually a female voice that comes through and then it'll just say hi Shannon. Like it's I don't like, know. Welcome like it's, back. Yeah. Like okay, we're ready to talk. I get that when we go up to. Uh, Oh God! What's it called? Edinburgh Manor. I I get that several times, and I always get it outside because I, I I have a tendency to turn the equipment on outside, not in the building, and then w- go into the building with it. I get it at Bobby Mackey's, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, see, you get them calling your name at Bobby Mackey's. They tried to give you a beer last time. You didn't take the bottle. Well, they so didn't they, try they, and give me a beer. They tried <laughs> to throw a beer bottle. They well, were they, sur- they succeeded throwing the beer bottle. Just nobody was in the room to get hit. They were just trying to serve you a beer. <laughs> okay, I'll take you- it. I'll, I'll take that. That's that's what really was supposed to be happening. Next time I go out there, <laughs> can I have so, another beer? Uh, please, yeah, I want you to do that. I will. Yeah, uh, Go down there and the next time, you know, in the dark and, hey, uh, last time you tried to give me a beer, can I have another one? And see if it crashes again, because if it does, then, hey, maybe they are trying to give you a beer. Not politely, though. <laughs> so, I guess the biggest thing that I'm trying to say is, I'm going back to Rob's post, I'm going back <laughs> to what, I'm, well, I'm going back to what he said, and he is right on, on, He's dead on with it. Telling people, try other things. Try anything. Try a candle. That is the freakiest thing in the world. If you're in a candle, when you know there's really no air moving, make sure everybody's back far enough that nobody's breathing on the dang candle. Right. And and if if, if, it's just, if the candle's just sitting there straight, in the, well, not the candle, but the flame is just sitting there straight, and you start talking, and all of a sudden, it's leaning and pointing at someone and every time you ask a question that you know you know hey which person in this room is, can you can you make that flame point at the person wearing the red hat and it does it to that person it's something new this is uh, true so there's there's techniques out there that nobody's thought of and i hope everybody does i know that there's a gentleman that's trying to build I'm not going to give too much away on it because I don't want to take it away from him because I did not invent it. He is in the process of inventing it. He's tried it. Um, a, a, a box that used multiple forms of light of different waves and may, and he's got some sort of way to put off sound that we can't hear and it's causing things to happen. Oh. And, and I'm, I'm hoping he gets it built and gets it patented. Um, because I and I hope we can meet up with him because I just want to try his. Um, we do have, like I said, the Faraday thing. We're going to try. Uh, I keep trying to come up with new and stupid things to try, but every time I turn around and come up with an idea, I look on the internet and someone's already tried it. Somebody's in well, my brain stealing my ideas. <laughs> damn it, man! Okay, so, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have to go ahead. change the subject. Go for it. Okay, <laughs> there's a guy live on Facebook right now. <laughs> it, I, I, I'm not gonna say his name, but he's he's doing a live paranormal ghost box session in his bedroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know. I'm sure you've done it, but I don't turn my equipment on at my house. <laughs> There has not been one piece. I'm sorry. There was one piece of equipment that ever, was ever turned on in our house. And that's because I got it and I had to try it. And that was the connect. 
But well, that's yeah. It. Well, I, well, I'm on the, where were we? I don't think we did the connect. Yeah, I did start using the connect at, at my other house, at our old house. But I don't like. I don't know. I don't think I would just be doing a live ghost box session in my bedroom. I don't think I could sleep if I got anything really good. <laughs> well, I know that like our house. Um. Well, and like the show with when uh, Beth was on, and we get talking about my grandpa. Yeah. And yeah. and his tie, um, his military tool, his uh, uh, Phoebe's tie is hanging on my wall. And we were talking about him, and it just starts moving. I, I, that still got me a little weirded out on that part. But uh-huh. And we have not went back to the cemetery yet. We're waiting for this fall when the leaves are, you know, it's a little bit cooler because it's been hotter than, hotter than hell here. Um, and now it's raining constantly here. So I don't know what's going to go happen. Um, but, yeah, there's... I don't suggest anybody opens anything in their own home. You're inviting anything to come in. Um, if, if you think that your house is haunted, I would say just go get a cheap recorder and start asking some questions. And if you get some responses back, then then probably your house is haunted. But there's a difference between getting an EVP and like stuff being thrown at you kind of haunted. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody who was at the Sally house in the basement when they put me in the hole and I got hit in the head. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, I mean, I was about eight feet away from possibly getting hit with a beer bottle, so. It's all good. So, you've got some pretty wild EVPs that were caught at some plate locations that we were at, correct? Well, you were at, correct? Uh, well, I've got, these aren't while I was there. They're just at some of the locations we, we've been to, like uh, Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. I got two EVPs that other groups have caught, um, and they're pretty good ones, actually. And then, you want me to go ahead and play those before I yeah. talk about so before Zachary? she plays them, before she plays them, um, if you're listening, now would be the time to turn your volume up a little bit past a little bit that you want to be at maybe turn it up a little bit more because some of these are you to be able to hear them you want i have a to bit turn more. it up when i play it just so i can hear it too so yeah so go for it all right here's the first one i'll play it and then we'll we'll see if you guys hear it I just heard a little girl. Okay. So you hear a female asking a question. Um, and actually on YouTube, it has it all the all the wording of her asking the question. Like what she asked, the question she asked. I guess there was supposedly like a stuffed pig animal or something down there. Like a stuffed toy um, that she was asking about. <laughs> so I'll play it again. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that guy was doing a live EVP, right? He was yes. listening? Yes, so he heard it as soon as she had said something. They didn't really say, though, like exactly what she was saying. And to me, it kind of sounded like she mumbled, I don't know. But that's the first time I've heard it tonight, was right when I, I got it and then put it in the, the soundboard so we could play it. <laughs> that is awesome. So, this other recording is also from the same group, and is also still at Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. Um, so, I'll play this one. See what you guys hear. That's one of the ones you have to have your headset or radio or something turned up pretty high to hear. So you'll what you'll hear on it 
will kind of direct you to where to listen to. You'll hear the ovulus say, um, what the heck did it say? Dictionary mode. Like It'll sound like a robot, and it says dictionary mode because they were just putting it on dictionary mode. And then listen to right after that. It's whispering, but you'll be able to make it out now that well, you heard what we said. It, it, it's, that, right? mode and somebody said it. What's that? It sounded like um like an almost like an old person voice. Like, yeah, like an old man. Yeah. In dictionary mode. <laughs> like you say, yeah, I'll be sarcastic with you, bite my ass. <laughs> and it it wasn't like you know how sometimes you get like that reverb or that echo on a on an audio? It wasn't that because it was it was uh, delayed. It wasn't like right after. <coughs> but yeah, that one was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so this next one, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Is this is a recording of um, Ghost Adventures when they did like a special uh, episode? I think I want to say the episode was like two hours long, and during one hour they were at. The Goldfield Hotel in Nevada, and then the other hour was at another location. But this audio is from the Goldfield Hotel in, in Nevada. So, what it's if you if you guys have seen the episode, if not, you can check it out. I think it's still on YouTube. You can check it out or um, Fire Stick, or I don't even know if they're still on Netflix. But it's the Goldfield Hotel. They were there for about an hour, and they have it on video. Where it looks like a a brick was thrown across the room. So this was after. This is the audio right after that had happened in that episode. But like like I said. I don't dislike Zach as a human being. I just don't like some of the stuff they do in their episodes. Because you know it's for TV. And they got to pipe it up a little bit. So I'm going to play this audio. Just because I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Is that you making all the noise? Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy f- Stop! Stop! Go! 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 I'm holding it in because I want to laugh. I want to laugh so bad. <laughs> Granted, I think there was only three of them in there. I don't. I know it was Zach and Nick. I don't know who the third person was. Like, if it, I think it was just a cameraman. I don't think Aaron was there. <laughs> but that's the. That was right after the brick had got thrown, and then he took off screaming, <laughs> um, which I thought was funny. I mean, I've had oh shit moments, but I don't think I've ever ran off like that. Like, we didn't even, even when I played the Bobby Mackey's audio from a week ago, and a beer bottle was thrown and busted, didn't hear none of the, none of the group that night, or Angie or I, like, run off, you know what I mean? Of course, we also know we had to go through that room where all the beer bottles were, so <laughs> we weren't, <laughs> we weren't going to take off running yet anyway. So, this next audio, it's, it's also from the Goldfield Hotel, but it was done by a news crew. Uh, three or four people. Um, I don't remember which channel news it was, but they went in after this, after Zach and them were there, and they asked a couple questions. And this is one of their responses to. Um, they asked about the brick from the pre the, from Zach's episode, and this is what they got. So if you know of anybody that did it, can you let us know, or can you move just a little piece of plaster? Didn't seem to hurt anything. Didn't seem to hurt anything. And also, it's at the end, and it repeats it three times because I recorded it from when they were playing it back. So it was kind of on a loop. So what I hear is I didn't mean to hurt anyone. So I'm going to play it again. So if you know of anybody that did it, can you let us know, or can you move just a little piece of plaster? 
Uh, that's a good EVP there. Yeah. Little one's coughing. You can't hear her though. <clears throat> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went on YouTube, and all I'm doing is watching the video with no sound with that brick. And I guess I don't remember that one because I don't remember that that brick just flies across the room. It, it does, it, and it's I on remember video. the episode because they they all in the audio that I have. It looks like Zach and Nick are together, but during that scene, I don't know if it was much longer after where it cuts off on on the YouTube clip that I saw, but they ended up all three splitting up and being alone in different parts of that hotel because they all ran three different directions. Okay, I'm watching it with sound real quick. Wait a minute. Hold on. What the hell was that? Well, you got to tell the listeners well, what you're well, watching or something. I'm watching it, and I'm seeing, I hate <laughs> to say it, but I'm seeing an anomaly in the video, and I don't like what I'm seeing because it looks like it, there's a chunk missing from the video. It skips. Like it's, been, like it's been edited. Here's the th- here and, and like I said, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but what, what my issue of it is is it goes from one video of one spot and then the camera is moved and it just jumps. It doesn't fluently go back. Like the cam the person running the camera steps back. The right. it's he's going it's going there's a, a light on the floor and then it jumps. So it's like like it's been it's, cut. It's like 22 seconds into around 20 seconds into the video. So if you go onto it, um, I just put in Ghost Adventures Flying Brick, and that's the, one, the video I'm looking at. So look at the 22, the 20 second marker around 19 or 18, and watch that. It jumps so fast and so much that I don't know. Again, you can see the brick flying, but why does the camera jump like that? What did you put in Ghost Adventures Brick? If I put in Ghost Adventure uh, in YouTube, Ghost Adventures Flying Brick. And that's the one I'm looking at. So I want people to look at it. And like I said, again, it goes back to, you know. The 1080p uh, one? Yep. It go, go, go back. You know, it, it goes back to the, what oh, our, bu- our buddy on Facebook said. You know, how much of this stuff can you trust? But it does look like there's an issue there that. That he, and I didn't catch it until just all of a sudden at 18, 19, 20, okay. it jumps. It jumps at the 20-second so, mark. That video clip that I, the audio clip that I played? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just asked the same question. He said, is that you? Is that you who's making all that noise? And you know in the audio clip, it was like right after. Yeah. Did you notice in this video it's not? Uh, no, but I'm going to listen to it again real quick. Is this the room? And then what room? Well, it was right after when it happened. In the, the audio, video. yes. Well, it also was on the, on the video. But he didn't flip out in this. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, it's the second go around. He asked it twice. So, watch it for yourself. It's out there on, the, on on YouTube. Take a look at it. See what you guys think, and please give us some comments and feedback. Um, I have never worked with Zach. I have my own personal issue with Zach. Um, not personal because I don't know him personally. Um, only because of the way I think he, to me, comes across as treating people on certain things, but it, that video for one part of it is funnier than hell to watch him run. Um, it is, but <laughs> another thing, but what are the odds of them? This is, this is another thing why, like, I don't, I don't know about ghost adventures, but what are the odds that two flashlights are going to be shown on the ground, right? Where that brick flies up. You see what I'm saying? True. Like, as soon so, as they go into that room, that is the spot where they look at where that brick is 
picked up and thrown across the room. Two flashlights are on that area. Yeah. <laughs> so you you have to. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> I, sorry, I was watching it again. You, ha- you uh, have to take it with a grain of salt because you're right. The one flashlight moves around, moves around, and then goes right to that brick and sits there on it and, and doesn't move. And then it move. gets thrown. Yeah. yeah. I may have to download that video and zoom in on it as far as I can and see. I may have to break that video down. No, I don't want to break all, it. Yeah. <laughs> so. When we all hate to break that video down. There's and a, I'm not a, one for busting somebody's bubble, but I hate it when people do it to me when they don't know the truth. Like, I will eventually get that uh, that clip to you. I'm going to send you the whole thing if it'll let me send it to you. That or I'll mail you a, a flash drive with it on there of the face apparition. So you can see the original footage where it is pitch black. All you can see is you can barely see the laser grid on the wall, the green dots. And then for you to be able to see it really good... I lighten the contrast is all I do is just turn the contrast up to where the, it's a little lighter in the background and not so dark. And then when the face actually appears and turns and looks at me, you can see it better that way. Okay. But if I send you the original clip, then you'll be able to see how dark it is. And I mean, with my computer before you couldn't, we couldn't see it. We reviewed it on my computer and I didn't see it as much as, as well as we did on the laptop. It was weird. And that was before we even upped the contrast to be able to see it better. Okay, send it. And I'll play with it. <laughs> that way you can see it hasn't been tampered with and I don't know how to explain it at all. Or the that shadow was... figure going through the laser grid. It's all one clip. It's all, it's like a I don't, I think it's about a 30, 40 minute clip. Okay. But I can tell you the times that it appears. So a few shows ago, we talked about me going up to get pictures taken with the uh, cool. the the Black Angel, um, and the road has been closed for the longest time because of construction. Thank thank God it's construction season. I did <laughs> find out also, and I really like to know who did it. Someone went up and desecrated it and painted eyes on it. What? Uh, so. It's actually closed off right now because we were going to walk up there and get pictures. Someone has painted some eyes on it. The people are cleaning it up. Um, I'm hoping they get it cleaned up before we get there. Um, I'd like to find out the people that did desecrate it. I hate people that do that. It's probably some young punk kids who think that their, <laughs> shit, their shit doesn't stink, and I hope they get haunted and they have hemorrhoids <laughs> that, come, that come out their, their nose. Uh, so we will get up there and get that picture taken. I'm hoping to have some more video from this weekend coming up or some stuff um, because we have, we're going to be able to do a little bit of our own investigating time down in uh, Missouri State Penn okay. before it, because we're, we're driving down. There's a group on Thursday there and then one on Friday and Saturday and we're going down Thursday, but we're actually not, oh, you know, part of the whole thing. So I think we're going to kind of break off and try to do some of our own stuff as far as and see what we get. You guys and, get to work with the boss man this weekend, huh? Yeah, I know. I haven't worked with him in a while. Um, uh, I also, like I said, I'm going to try out our new video camera. We just bought a new video editing program to where I can actually get some more stuff out on YouTube now. What and are you guys get some, using now? Um, I have no idea what it is. And it's one of the most basic one. Uh, basic just bought pro- an editing program and you don't know what it is? I can't remember. It's not on my computer here. It's down in the dungeon. At okay. Michelle's, so uh, so I can't. It's a simpler one to use, but I like it a lot because I can do almost everything that seems like anybody else can do. So, and then with the new camera and the and we'll see what we get. And I'm I'm hoping to catch some stuff. I'm not. I'm hoping, but I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to catch anything because obviously, you know, when we do this, we don't guarantee anything. Yeah. But I'm just hoping that some things start to come out and something, you know, we've been there enough now that maybe, and we haven't been there for a while. Like I said, last time we were there, I walked into building four and we were the first ones through the door after she opened the cage and it felt like somebody gave me a hug. It was the freakiest feeling in the freaking world. It was that big old shadow guy in the doorway that that guest caught upstairs in the, where we did our introductions. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, this was, he just, it was like something that he went, hey, welcome back. Come on in. And I, uh, get off me. You're awesome, Bill. <laughs> no, Bill's scared now, right now. So, um, I don't know. Well, I need to tell some guests that are in Illinois that are near Charleston, Illinois, where Eastern Illinois College is. And y'all need to come see me Friday night at Ashmore Estates because I don't have very many guests, and that would be the night to go if you guys are close by. Yes. are still available. Come hang with me. Go to ghosthuntsusa.com and get the tickets. Buy them and go see Shannon. She needs people down there. She needs to have the experiences. <laughs> um, so, yeah, get down there and see her. I don't poked. know how much time. Oh, you got poked? So we got yeah. about 30 seconds? Yep. <laughs> We want, to thank, we want to thank everybody for being here. Thanks for listening to us. Get us your comments out there. Get us your feedback on what you think about those EVP things and all the comments that we made tonight. And we want uh, Shannon. It was an awesome show as always. I love working with you. Oh, I love uh, you too, can't, can't wait to be face to face with you again. Do some hands on work and to see where them ghosties are at. I know. Uh, I'm about to make a road trip. <laughs> uh, so y'all. Be good, be safe, and we will see you in the dark. Good night.